So this uh, video is to show you how to write uh, data to an NFC tag similar to this, which you can use for tagging locations, uh, assets, anything like. Okay, there's various versions of these, but this is the one I'm going to show you today. So first of all, once you've logged into your device, you need to have this feature, data capture. Now you will need to ask a compliancy help desk to give you that permission. and. Um, then you sync the device and that will be there. So first of all, find what you want to write the tags to. So pick this, and then in this case, we're just gonna write it to a property. So this is probably gonna go on the inside of the property as soon as you go in. Uh, if you want to go even further, you can tap new entity. And then when you go to write this tag, you can say that's ground floor reception desk. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna write it to the property. So we go back a step using this back button on this CAT S41 device and press tick. That's where we are. So here you can see what the property is. Um, there is a an option to put a serial number in here. At the moment we're just using a code uh, 47MP Mount Pleasant um, where the uh, asset belongs to, the entity belongs to. Uh, it's unknown manufacturer, not massively important, but depending on the detail you want on your entities, you can specify if it's Dyson or Samsung or uh, anyone you like. Um, this details what the entity is. Now these are already filled out because within the compliancy database, this has already been set. If it isn't set, you'll need to start filling all these bits out with the options and the drop downs that exist behind the menus but they're already written, so um, that's not necessary to do. Uh, and then we need to write the tag. So this thing here, this kind of N, is what we're looking at. So I'm gonna bring the tag there, pass it over. There we go. That's it written. Now, if it doesn't pop in there straight away, this here, just do it again, and it'll just do it again for you. Uh, last, if you want to do the barcode blank, uh, we don't use barcodes anymore, so that's a yes. Entity record updated. And then, all you'll need to do is, once you have saved that, which you've just done, I mean, if you're not sure if you've done it, there's no harm in hitting save again. You can do that. And if you've completely finished doing all your different tags, you can come out of this and go to the next one. And then you can start again, and so forth. But once you finish writing all your tags, press the back button to come out, come out, press the log off button, press the sync arrows. What this is doing is anything you've recorded on these little tags, that is now being sent up to the database, that now will be accessible from any PC you log into or any device that has recently been synced to grab that information as well. Now, as you can see, I've just logged back in again, got the same tag here. So imagine this being stuck on something and that's a very important note. Actually, don't stick these on until you've successfully written to the disk because they are extremely difficult to remove when it's made like that on purpose. Uh, and so what you do is bring your device over the top of it and that tells you what it is, where it is and all the details.